So, uh, welcome to uh, another Meet Mobility Ultrabook News UMBC Portal Carry Pad session. Um, tonight it's Ultrabook News, and we are going to do a live kind of Q and A and review and overview of the Samsung Series Five Ultrabook, which um, I've actually bought. So this is not a loaner, uh, so I have to be really careful with it because I bought it for my wife. She wanted a um, a device for doing a lot of travelling for her work, and I thought it made sense to get uh, an Ultrabook so that we could do some testing here and. Uh, see how it is. Um, the reason I went for the Series 5 is that in terms of kind of like all-round value for money and ports it's up there with uh, with some of the best of them and um, having tested this a couple of times over the last uh, two or three months I'm pretty confident that it's going to be a solid device and um, a good average so um, we'll see how it goes tonight. So far I'm pretty uh, pleased with it, the build quality, the keyboard etc but we'll go over the device and that's what we're going to do in the first part of this this video uh, that's going to go up to uh, to YouTube. We've got live chat in the back for those of you that are watching on YouTube, live chat in the back which I'll keep an eye on uh, for questions um, and then after the, the review we're going to have a, a live Q&A as well. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Ultrabook News, follow us on uh, Facebook at Ultrabook News and follow us on Google Plus at Ultrabook News as well. Don't forget to like the video on YouTube. Right, let's get into it. And we'll go straight to the device. I'm not going to do an unboxing. There is the box. Basic, basic, basic. And the only extra stuff I want to show you, which is quite important, is recovery disc. Samsung provide a recovery DVD, which is really good. Makes absolute sense because sometimes you really need that and basically they're doing that because the ones that ship with SSD only the 128 gig ones just don't have enough space for recovery uh, partition there is a recovery drive creator recovery media creator software with the device as well power cable is not traditional uh, Samsung power cable it's a very small uh, power adapter um, nice and lightweight so it's not a wall blister Actually, I've got it plugged in so I don't want to uh, it out now but it's fairly small so those of you that were thinking of buying it because you can use all your other Samsung adapters um, you can't uh, oh yes the other one is the VGA adapter this is a VGA adapter that's used on a number of Samsung products um, so if you're gonna do stuff with you know projectors presentations you always need to have this with you it's gonna be a problem for some people at some point in their uh, life with the Samsung Series 5 Ultrabook because they're gonna forget this and yeah I'm not sure how I feel about that. Not brilliant, but because having seen other devices with the VGA built in, I think uh, it makes sense to. Let's see if we can. Uh, there's a lot of reflection off that uh, camera. Let's see. I'll just keep an eye on that. Right. Samsung Series 5. So really nice finish. It's a metallic, uh, a metal uh, finish on on the uh, case at the top there. Plastic at the bottom. I want to take you around the device. The specs are pretty standard uh, low-end Ultrabook specs. It's 1.43 kilos, Core i5, 1.6 gigahertz CPU, uh, 1366 by 768, 13.3 inch screen, uh, hybrid HDD, so that's uh, 500 gigs plus 16 gigs of SSD and 4 gigs of RAM. Looking around the device and this is one of the things I think uh, you know, I, I really like about the uh, the Samsung Series 5, and I think a lot of people are looking for is the amount of ports that are available on it. If you're using it for business, you just need flexibility, right? So you've got the mini VGA port there. That's the uh, that's the adapter I showed you earlier. There's a headset port here, so that's microphone and headphone. Full size V uh, um, HDMI, so you don't need to carry an adapter cable. USB 3 plus uh, sleep and charge, and this is uh, an Ethernet port. And you just pull that bottom bit down like that. There's been questions about how sturdy that is. It's a piece of plastic that could break off, of course. Um, but I have it on another Samsung device, and it's been okay so far. And I use the Ethernet port quite regularly. But, of course, it is a moving part, and there is a risk that it will break. Bear that in mind. Power goes in there. Flipping it over, two USB 2s, and full-size SD card slot there. So that's really pretty flexible in terms of terms of ports there. On the back there's nothing and on the bottom you want to notice this it's the access port for HDD and memory so you can do your own upgrades. You can't get to the battery, the battery sits down here and it's a, a sealed unit battery but you can get to the HDD and the memory and of course I will be taking that off probably later in this session to see how um, how thick the hard drive is whether it's a 7mm or a 9mm 
um, so that, so you can um, have the information you need when you need to buy an SSD. Um, so pretty nice uh, build quality. It's very very sturdy. Not like the Z830, which is a little bit floppy on the lid. This is really really sturdy and just feels really nice build quality all around. You've got this nice rubberized top here that makes it stops it making a noise when it closes. So they've thought uh, thought well well about the design here. And Samsung, I think, are generally pretty reliable in terms of uh, of design. So there's the screen there. It is a really really nice screen. It's a matte screen, although the resolution is only one three six six by seven six eight. Um, it's nice and punchy. The screen is really nice and punchy compared to the Z830. And later on in this session, in another recorded session on YouTube, I'll show you the difference between the Z830 and this one but this is really nice sharp for a matte screen it's excellent um, keyboard here is a classic uh, Samsung sort of mid-range uh, keyboard I really really like it it's pretty much the same as the one on the MP350 which is a cheaper cheaper version of the uh, series 5 without um, the ultra low voltage CPU it's a slightly smaller screen and, a, and it hasn't got the uh, hybrid hard drive uh, but it's the same keyboard and I've been using it for the last three months and it's excellent so really really like the keyboard here touchpad is also very nice um, nice a sort of smooth finish on it and really nice click on the mouse buttons as well so if you look on the integrated ma on, on the uh, separate mouse buttons not integrated into the moving uh, touchpad it's a um, really nice click and really sort of soft and good one of the best ones I've uh, tested on an Ultrabook uh, so far um, so in terms of sort of um, a a quick access buttons you've got control panel and the usual volume brightness uh, silent mode for the fans so those of you are working in you know quiet rooms a library or a home office the silent mode is really really good for uh, um, for when you're in low power mode it can last uh, you know all the time with uh, fanless operation so some of the things to come with ultrabooks I think actually fanless ultrabooks will be with us in uh, the third generation um, right that's pretty much it there's a webcam on it as well but that's a look around the Samsung series 5 I'm going to stop this video on oh, there's the um, set of lights here so you do actually see what's going on when the device is closed one other thing I wanted to mention about the specs it has a uh, Intel wireless Centrino 6230 in it which is a dual antenna Wi-Di capable my Wi-Fi capable um, um, wireless unit but also um, Intel Wi-Pro capable as well so you've got a very good quality uh, wireless in this as, as well so that might be useful for some of you that are uh, using uh, Wi-Fi in busy places um, that really makes a difference right so that's a quick uh, overview of the uh, Samsung series 5 we're going to do a bunch more videos uh, later on in this uh, session this evening um, but I want to stop this one for the time being and go into a Q&A session with the users that are in the chat room here and uh, stay tuned uh, ultrabooknews.com is where we've been doing this and stay tuned at ultrabooknews.com for more ultrabook information thanks for watching this section